All right, everybody, we're gonna be jumping into the Smart Rider games. This is the big course. This is something I like to do to practice my, my U-turns, my figure eights. It's basically just a, a nice little bike bonding moment. Um, this is the first one, Lefty Lucy. This is gonna really practice your left-handed turns. You're gonna get one, two, three left-handed U-turns wide shorter and shorter if it gets difficult just keep practicing i'm gonna have some fun so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like we do have a timer here but we're not gonna time these first two so i'm gonna follow the diagram now this is a bigger course the one in the booklet is a 40 by 60 this is an 80 by 120 it's just fun so i'm going wide on these first ones i'm practicing my friction zone my throttle right so i'm going wide now i have to go around these two so this is going to practice a shorter u-turn with the 40 by 60 this one gets a little difficult but this next one is even more difficult on the short course it's much easier on the big one because the big one is meant for speed and then we're going to exit out of the gate so that is the lefty lucy so if you have a big parking lot, highly recommend doing this bigger course if you're a beginner so that you can get it done. So 33, 39. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So now I'm gonna keep head and eyes going where I wanna go. So I'm looking, give it a little bit. Now I don't have my hand on the friction zone or the, the clutch lever and I'm just doing throttle. So I'm going nice and wide on these. I'm giving myself that room and we're gonna go ahead and go. So remember, counterweight, handlebar turn, look where you wanna go, give it some throttle, play with the friction zone. Now we're gonna have some fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and go faster, that was 25. If you get a little bit bored of doing it slow and you're like, I feel like I got it, well, let's challenge ourselves. A little bit of fun, a little bit of fun. 15.6, let's go ahead and see if we can get that a little bit better. I got the face shield down now. Give it a little bit of break, practicing my braking and throttle and friction zone, braking so I can make these things nice and tight. I got some water on the ground, but I trust my tires. I'm looking where I wanna go. I'm gonna accelerate out. So I just practiced, what, that's four times three, so that's 12 U-turns I just practiced and 15.6. So if we want to, let's go ahead and adjust it to the right side. So I have my phone friendly version, which you can get the actual physical book. Let's go ahead and put this in neutral because I accidentally zoomed in on this one. There's a, this is the phone friendly version of it. You get this, when you download this when you buy the physical version. If you're an MTC Rider Academy member, you get this too. Uh, but yeah, you can have the booklet out yourself if you really want to. But now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go right side. So let's take two nice and easies. Right side, some people say it's a lot easier because the throttle is closer to your body. You're not having to reach super far out. And you notice how I'm just kind of chilling. All right, so we gotta go through this now a little bit shorter. And this one, I gotta go around this one cone. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep it, look where I wanna go, turn that handlebar and move. I just did three U-turns without really thinking about it. And that's the point of these. So you wanna practice, practice, practice. So 24, hey, not bad. 24, so righty tidy, right? We're gonna do four exercises. This is number two. Well, this is, we're gonna do four different exercises. This is exercise number two. Set number two, rep number two, whatever you want to call it. So go and look, 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 look. And if you go wide, that's fine, that's fine. Go through this. All right, so now, let's give it a little bit of speed. So 21. I'm gonna practice my braking around this cone, give it a little bit of throttle, give it a little bit of throttle, brake, look where I want to go. Give it a little throttle, I'm gonna brake and make this toy, like a toyga, and accelerate out. Brake and turn. Yeah, 16.6. My left was a little bit better. Let's try it one more time. So once again, looking where I wanna go. I'm not looking at the cones. You start looking at the cones, you start making mistakes because you start aiming towards the cones. You look where you wanna go. You target fixate on the things that you want. So I'm looking back at the exit. and we're gonna accelerate out. All right, 
16, not bad. We're gonna go next on the two pull run. The two pull run is two left-handed U-turns, but it's only around two cones. The lefty Lucy is around three cones at first, and now it's a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna take it nice and easy, go around these first two cones. Remember to look where we wanna go. And if you wanna do it for time, you don't have a timer, have a friend do a stopwatch or record yourself. We're gonna shoot for this outside cone and go around these two cones now. And then we're gonna look, we're gonna keep looking. And all I'm doing is friction zone throttle control. Friction zone throttle control when I'm practicing, especially if I'm a beginner. When you get better, you don't need to use friction zone so much. So once again, we're gonna do another easy one. I'm not gonna use friction zone, it's all throttle control and I'm just gonna look and I'm kinda just gliding at this point. And I'm in first gear, you might have to be in second gear. Second gear is kind of fun, but this is a, a pretty big, pretty big bike and first gear handles it pretty well. So now we're gonna have some fun and go a little bit faster. So we're gonna go around these two, go shoot to the outside, go for around those two. Throttle control, braking is water. And if it's raining and it rains just like this, guess what? That's practice, that's extra. Extra challenge, extra practice for when it is raining. I don't remember what it was when it was going slow, but 13, that's pretty good, 13.4. And the cool thing about recording yourselves is that you can take down your times and see how you improve that way. You can progress by being smoother, you can progress by going faster, you can progress by doing the short course and making it tighter and a little bit more difficult. But right now I just did two actually four, no, three left U-turns because you got that one, you got that two, and you got that three. And if I did it four times, that's 12. So I just did 12, 12, 12, 36 U-turns, 24 to the left, and then 12 to the right without even really thinking about it. Now we're gonna do a figure eight, but this is gonna be a really wide figure eight. We're gonna go around all of the cones, if that's what it looks like, it's the boot lace. And let's go ahead and have fun doing that one. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go wide around this one. We're gonna go all the way around this one. We're gonna look where we wanna go. Hey, guess what? We just did a couple U-turns right there, right? Change of direction. We're gonna look at the exit. Use your peripheral and pattern recognition to see those cones. Use your focal vision to look where you wanna go. So 17, not bad. So we're gonna do it nice and easy again. Go nice and round. Go nice and wide. Remember, planning your ride, right? Position for safety. Position yourself for success. If you have to, go nice and wide. Go nice and wide. Go nice and slow. Use the rear brake. Use the front brake. It's a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and have some fun on this one. Let's go a little bit faster. Really move those bo that body. Now, what does this feel like when you move that body like super quick, like shazam, like that? Guess what, when you're in the mountains, when you're having to shift lanes positions, you know, you have to swerve around a car. So 14.7, all right, visor down, here we go. And trust me, there are faster people than me, but I'm having fun. So please beat my time, safely. At 13.6, not too bad, not too bad. And you know what? I said we're gonna do four, we're gonna do a bonus one. This is called the ADOs. Don't ask me how I got that name, just kidding. It looks like an eight inside of an O, it's an ADO. So now, instead of the U-turn being around everything, the U-turn is around these two cones and then you have to go wide, super wide. So let's do it nice and slow. Now on the short course, this can be a little bit more difficult. On the big course, it's much easier. So I'm gonna give myself some time and some space. My, this GoPro just died on me, so that's fun. So we're just gonna utilize all of this and we're going around these cones, all of the cones, all of the cones, and then we're gonna exit out. So it's gonna be a nice U-turn, I'm sorry, nice figure eight in the middle and then all around all of them. So 28.5, so we're gonna go this right here, I'll change the direction, give myself this nine wide arc if I'm just brand new and I'm not going for time. 
slowing it down, and we have to go back around this cone, and then we're gonna go around everything, everything. Smooth throttle control. This is where you can give it a little bit of speed because it's nice and wide. On the short course, it's a little bit harder, but big course, you can give it some speed. And then we're gonna have some fun on these big courses. So, here we go, let's do it fast. Err. Ah, don't wanna hit that. <laughs> don't wanna hit that camera. <laughs> I'll hit the cone, but not the camera. Part of filming. I don't remember what the, the time was. Was it like 20 something? All right, we're 17. Let's go faster on this one. I gotta go wider on this one so I don't freak out. There we go. Give it some speed. Cause I got some room. 17 now it's 16 very nice all right so that's five exercises we just did a ton of u-turns ton of figure eights a ton of uh, change of directions friction zone throttle control we're, we're we're going through the primary controls we're having fun we're enjoying it all we could have our buddies go then i go then he goes and she, she hey yo what is up everybody how's everybody doing today Everyone having a, a good time. Thank you, iFixShet, <laughs> for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, I did hear that he's had he has a he has a GoFundMe or something. But I, I haven't been looking into it. I figure what you put out there comes back at you. And so my goal is just to put out good stuff and then maybe good stuff will come back at me. Who knows? Who knows? Having a set of values is really important. How's everybody's week been? How's everybody's week been? So r right off the bat, we do have a sale going on right now. Um, I need to stop saying we. I have a sale going on right now at the shop for the Smart Rider drills. And there's the cone option, so there's two ways you can do it. You can just get the drills. You get the drills with the cones. And uh, it's 25% off using code GOPRACTICE25. Right now through Sunday. Once Sunday happens, it's full price again. So right now, use the code, and then you get. I gotta do this. It's part of the, part of what we're doing, y'all. And you also get like the uh, the downloadable per uh, version of it too. So you get download booklet, the actual download of the booklet. So if you want to read it that way, but then the phone friendly version, so you can put it on your on your bike when you're out practicing. That's, yeah, might as well just get all the sponsorship stuff out of the way. Um, Flying Eyes Optics. 10% off. These are my my dailies now. Love them. I got, yeah, I love them. So 10% off. Check it out. Link in the description. Cardo, once again, right now it's 10% off, I believe. Uh, they just finished their Easter sale, which was 25% off. That was really cool. And, uh, yeah, hope everybody's uh, week has gone well. Last time we were here was on Wednesday. And so what happened Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today? What do you guys? What have you guys been up to? Well, how's your weekend? Uh, Easter weekend, church, had fun there. Had a great Saturday. Great Saturday, went mini golfing. One, because I'm like super good at it. No, no hole in one though. No hole in one. That's a little dis disappointing. Um, but it was a great Saturday. And then what else? Oh, Friday. Last Friday, I went and. Uh, got a biopsy. I had a mole. So I finally got the biopsy. I was waiting all month for that appointment. It's Thursday today. I'm hoping to get results today or tomorrow. I don't want to think about it over the weekend. So I'm hoping I get it today or tomorrow so I can process it real quick if it comes back positive uh, for squamous cell carcinoma, which I've had before. So they do a, a Mohs surgery where they just kind of keep cutting, testing, cut, test, cut, test, cut until they get it all out. So I've done that before. So hopefully nothing, but if it comes back, yes, positive, I know how to handle it. And hopefully it's nothing major. But check your moles, check your moles, 
Keep it, keep it on your skin. Wear sunscreen. I think I just have a history of it. I think there's just a, a genetic predisposition, whatever, uh, for it. So thank you guys for the prayers. Appreciate it. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Appreciate it. But uh, it is what it is. If it happens, it happens. Just got to take care of it. Got to take care of it. Monday, uh, rearranging uh, the academy here. Um, took down a few things, going to remodel. So we're in the remodeling process, throwing out a lot. So I did that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, basically. Uh, Monday, I added another unit to the new book. So that unit will be uh, the mentorship unit. And um, yeah, so it's focused on... Let's see, I want to make sure I get I get it correct. I posted it on my Instagram story. I want to make sure I, I get the, the main topics. So you guys know what I'm I'm talking about. Dun, dun, dun. Overall, it's been guys, it's been a good weekend. How's how's your guys' weekend? So unit six, the art of motorcycle mentoring. Still working on the title for the unit. We'll see. Uh the focus is on expertise and continu continuous learning. That's uh, lesson one. Effective communication, active listening skills, that's lesson two. Empathy and ability to inspire and motivate, lesson three. So it's going to give you the front end of uh, what makes a good mentor. And then establishing the foundation, which is the cognitive stage. Building skills through practice, associative stage. And refining and reflecting the autonomous stage. And that's based off the Fitzposner model of motor learning. Something that I think is really important. And as mentors, if you can understand that and you know what the uh, brand new person's going through, you don't rush it. So that's pretty good. How you doing, uh, Brutimus? Doing good. Renee, how you doing? Everything's good. Like It's all good. Thank you, Arrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shmi, how you doing? But yeah, we got three modules, six units. And uh, I got the workbooks. I'm working on the glossary templates, the full Smart Rider games. And I'm going to do a motorcycle test practice, which is going to be based off the Arizona uh, test course, which would be by the time you finish the uh, the book, you should be able to handle that pretty easy. And it's pretty standard across um, states. It's basically straight line weave, U-turn, tight turn, swerve, braking. That's pretty much it. Yeah, only 28 likes. What's up with that, guys? Let's go ahead and sign in. 100 people in class right now, but only... 30 people signed in. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so hit that like button, sign into class, get credit for today's class. And by credit, I mean, thank you for the like. <laughs> Hello, Gavna. Thank you, Rad Dad, for the, for the uh, reminder. Anybody go riding this weekend? Anybody uh, get some gear? What's going on, guys? What's going on? How you guys? How you guys been? How you guys been? How's your week? I uh, went out last night. Had a nice little date. That was nice. This weekend, yeah. Also, gonna have some stuff. Um, Sunday, I have church. I think I got bathroom duty at church, so I clean the bathrooms. So that's cool. Um, a little service, a little access service. Passed your BRC class yesterday, got your rider coach certification card. Ooh, snap. Like rider coach, you're a coach, or you got your BRC uh, card, so you can turn that into the uh, the DMV. I had to get emissions testing. I went and got emissions testing yesterday for the, the dad van. Renewed registration for the motorcycle and the van. What else did I do? I did a bunch. A bunch of little things. Taxes are complete. Did the sales report. What are you guys doing? Start a new job at your church next week? Nice. What are you going to be doing, Arrow? Bathroom duty, yeah. Going to work on your posture during the deep turns. Very good. Very good. Oh, I fix shit. That's interesting. That's interesting. That sucks. 
good to know, though. If I ever go to jail, I can't use uh, a GoFundMe for it. <laughs> uh, finals are coming up. Junji, oof. Good luck. Study. Heated grips are great. Um, any type of external heat, which your body does not have to create, warms you up really good. If you need, if you feel like you need uh, your hands like to be warmer, heated grips are great. You just got to work through the electrical part. David, I agree. I agree. Taking over the IT department, nice. I'm on the safety team. Uh, so we had, so I mean the tax return. I was already going to do it because the tax return was was pretty decent. I didn't have, I didn't. Oh, I'm I'm getting some back. So I donated an AED to the church, but then like this. Uh, the Easter sale with Cardo, the commission on that, it's been great. So then even better. Like I, I added uh, training pads. I, I added uh, adult and pediatric training pads to the to the shopping list so that now we can we can all train. But it's pretty cool. Part of the safety team, so I want to make sure everyone's safe. EMS and everything. Ordered a bunch of stuff, so I ordered myself a fanny pack, and, a, and I'm just going to fill it up with supplies that I have here for... Uh, the medical stuff. So, yeah. First bike was DCT. Now buying a pocket bike to train back the clutch system. Nice. Marshall Tiger. Saw the MT-09 on your street. Yeah. MT-09s. They're pretty impressive. Let's get to 100 likes. We're going to get into class, guys. Uh, we got pizza today. It's about lunchtime for a lot of you. Maybe uh, Liner. Yeah, nice little fanny pack from Herbal Stock. I think that's how you pronounce them. And I got some Vertex uh, stuff coming in. Nice little fanny pack. Yeah. Because walking around with a rescue pack, just holding it, it works great on the bike, but I want to make sure I have it. It's a cool looking one. It's a cool fanny pack. It's a cool looking one. Uh, if your seals are leaking oil, it's going to get on the tires probably in a turn, and you're going to run out of oil, and then your suspension is going to go crap, crap, and then uh, you're not going to have the dampening and everything, and you hit a bump, and it's going to it can mess you up. Right for three weeks now, your videos have already helped save my life. Had a truck merge into me and swerve to safety. John, there it is, man. There it is. Open lane patterns, sides of the vehicles. Czech Republic. Hello from Portugal. How you doing? Fernando. Nice. Aviation Maddie. Nice. 64 likes, guys. I just went to the bathroom. I got to pee again. So you guys, uh, I, I'm going to head head to the bathroom again. Uh, when I get back, let's get to, let's get to 100 likes and we're going to head into the classroom. So I'm going to turn up the music for you guys. And, uh... There we go. Let's go and switch that song. Let's switch that one. There we go. I'll be right back. I got to go tinkle.
We're not 100 likes. We're 20 away. 21 away. 21 likes away, and we're going to head to class. Uh, I'm just kind of doing some housekeeping here, catching up, make sure I got my pens. And uh, we, we ran out of crayons. I think you guys, I mean, you ate all of them. I can't get any more. I go to Costco. They say I can't keep buying stuff there, which is weird because I'm spending money. Um, but I keep running. I keep buying all the crayons, and they're like, now there's none for the kids. So <sighs> gotta go to Sam's Club or something. Um, had a super close call getting of getting ran over by a car. Then I remembered your words. Target fixation is a tool. Thanks to you, I can type on my phone to you. Thanks, man. Hey, um, that's amazing. That's amazing. Everyone give him a, a clap in the chat, a little biker wave if you're a member. Members get special uh, emojis. Uh, my eating and protein goals. Um, my only focus with that is to just not eat a lot of carbs. So I'm going to eat them anyways. Um, protein first. Um, it's really kind of weight. So I, like, I check my weight in the mornings and... If I'm gaining, I'm gaining, I'm losing, I'm losing. So I just kind of modulate my uh, my intake at that point. The one thing that's really helped was drinking way less, way less. So drinking alcohol itself will gain, gain some fat, increase your stress hormones. And then when you drink, or at least with me, I, I want to eat. So it really kind of curbs my appetite on that. Managed to avoid a lot of cars that were trying to hit me from all sides today while I was in your car. Yeah, you can plan your you plan your drive. I do that all the time. Little did he know about the... Oh, no. 11 more likes. We're going to head into class. 11 more likes. We're going to head into class. Ten more likes. That's interesting. Ten more likes. We're going to head into class. There we go. But yeah, guys, we have a sale right now. 25% off the drill booklet. Using code GOPRACTICE25. It's going on right now. Got the elevator fixed. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the elevator and, and I'm gonna show up in class. So you guys don't get the ride, it's a lot of fun. And we hit a hundred. So uh guys, I'll see you in class. Okay. Okay. So we got pizzas here for everybody. Grab a slice of pizza. We got meat lovers. We got uh, we do have a pepperoni and pineapple and Canadian bacon, and uh, we just have straight pepperoni if you need that. We do have some lactate in the corner, so if you guys no farting up in this class, our uh, AC is not working as well today. Um, it was a pretty interesting weekend. But yeah, I can make sure I got my pen out. This lady's acting angry. Got the pen. Very good. It's got ink. Nobody was drinking it. <sighs> Pineapple and pizza is pretty good. A little bit of sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's just ham. <laughs> How you doing, Dunkus? How you doing? Brian, how you doing? Pineapple and jalapeno. Interesting. I don't think I've had that combination. You'll pick up all the... All right. If you guys want a cheese... If any of you want a cheese pizza, pick off the pepperoni. Give it to Howard. And now you have a cheese pizza. There we are. There we are. Anything brief to say about gravel riding? You're going to have uh, less traction. So any turning is going to be a little bit slower, a little bit wider, nothing super sharp. Same thing with acceleration braking. Longer total stopping distance and then ease on the throttle until you start feeling that traction come up. Take it easy. Take it nice and easy. All right, guys. We're going to get started. 108 likes. We do have this video here. Let's 
you guys know how it goes, right? Anybody new here? Raise your hand in class. Anybody new here? Um, for those of you that are not new, how we do this is we do a live class once a week, you, typically ter Thursdays, but the last two were Wednesdays. And what I do is uh, we go over the videos. We got two videos today. We go over the videos. Uh, we record it because people can't make it to class until the weekend because they're at work right now or whatever. And um, yeah, so you're going to see kind of behind the scenes. We're going to chop it up. I'm going to make, f I think I'm going to do three videos today. I'm going to chop them up into three videos, but who knows, maybe four. We do ad reads at the beginning because we got to pay the bills. You know, YouTube likes to demonetize this stuff, so paying the bills, making sure we can continue doing this for as long as we possibly can. And so we have sponsors, Cardo and all that stuff, but this week we're going to be focusing on, you'll see it when, when, I, when I hit record, we're going to be focusing on the drills because there's a 25% off discount right now. Uh, code is in the, it's pinned at the top of the chat. And uh, go practice 25, we'll get you 25% off. And that sale ends Sunday at midnight. And so we got that. But what I'm going to try with the three videos is I've been getting feedback. Uh, a lot of people like the no pause. Some people are like, they like the pause. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to create two no pause videos, one pause video. And I'm going to chop everything up. Like literally chop everything up so where I think Saturday... It's going to be just drill, like, like, like marker, 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 pause, 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 all that stuff. And then Friday, Sunday, it's just going to be no pause. We're testing it out. We're seeing how it works, what people like. Retention is really good on the no pause. Really good. But I don't think you get the education. So we're testing it out this week. Next week, we'll test something different out. Constantly try to get better. This way, I can focus on the book. We'll do small Small tests. You like the less pause, not no pause or all pause. Interesting. Good feedback. We're going to try it out this week, but I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind for next week because I do like the mix of all of it. I do. So we'll see how it all works. Yeah, pause definitely is a lot more educational, and that's the goal. That is the goal. So during the no pause, I'm going to try my best. But during the live class, like today, you're going to see pause, no pause, pause, no pause. And then I'm just going to have to edit that later. So that's going to be the goal. So we got this video. Let's go ahead and watch the intro real quick for us. And then I can see like what we can do about the 10 second ad read. Ooh, we got some stuff here. I haven't watched these yet. Oh, he hit something. What did he hit? Hit a deer. Oh, look at his face. Not good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Then he hit the deer. That's going to be interesting. Hits the deer, gets messed up, and then he hits the car. Was it a sheep? Yeah, that escalated quickly. It looked like a sheep. No, that's a deer. That's a deer. And then it escalated real quick. Oops. Oopsies. That sucks. That's why you wear full gear, just in case. And then I wonder what happened here. That looks like a farm field. Anyways. So that's how we're going to do it. I try to do the ad read with it before the timer runs out. Which is on the top right. So let's get everything prepped and ready. Let's make myself ginormous. We're going to do this. Yeah, this one we might have to... We're, we're going to do pause, no pause, but I'll edit to make it look better. All right. So 117 likes. We're good. 154 of you in class. Make sure you sign in. Hit that like button. But we're going to get started. Three, two, and one. And then... What is up, everybody? Dan in the farm here. We have a 25% off sale. Go practice 25. It's only till Sunday. It's for the drill booklets or with the cones. Check it out. Links in the description. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Situation which the biker fortunately... Unlucky situation. ...which completely protected him from any complications. Good. Getting gear. Smart rider acquiring you. Oh, no. Oh, okay. He's okay. Good. 
he is okay. No broken bones, serious injuries, or complications. That's really good. Gear is going to mitigate a lot of those injuries. I was wearing full gear and an airbag vest. Even better. Even better. Let's take a look at this. So multiple factors do lead into a crash. We all know that, right? Now, the deer could have just been a pothole. The deer could have been a tire blowout because we haven't been checking our tires in a while. The, the factor, the deer could have been, you know, uh, some paint or some oil in the road. Whatever the road surface hazard is, whatever the thing that's going to cause us or have an, uh, be a factor in the crash is there. If the car wasn't there, we might have been able to keep it up. That's what she said. So the goal is to minimize as many factors as possible. We can't control a lot of them. But what we can control is injury mitigation. And being a smart rider, acquiring and using personal protective equipment, is something that we could do before we even get on the bike. So just in case something does happen, we can hopefully not have severe life-altering or life-ending injuries. So let's take a look at this one real quick. Completely protected. Coming around the corner. Remember, orange stage, we're going around corners, trying to figure out what's happening, looking for threats. We're slowing our speed, or at least going to a speed that's within our skill level, right? And in, if we have a high skill level, let's still try to keep it and cap it at, the, at what the speed limit is. Complications. So we see the deer right there, no good. Whoa! Jumps out, we say whoa. So we go into a little bit of a brown stage, but there's not much we could do anyways at this point. Kind of not much we could do. Maybe we can apply the brakes, right? We're kind of straight. Hopefully it doesn't hit us, but deer are so unpredictable, so un unpredictable, can't do much. So there's the impact. It's gonna mess up our uh, handling, which is gonna push us off to this side. And Unfortunately, there is a car here. He is trying his absolute best to swerve. So he's able to gain a little bit of control. Tries his absolute best to swerve. Not going to happen. So what kind of injuries can we have here? Mechanism of injury, right? So we're going to go up and over the gas tank, possibly. And we talk about bilateral femur fractures, open book fractures. But let's say there's no fracture. You're just going to have soft tissue damage all right here. And uh, none of us want that. We want to keep our giblets. So it's going to suck. Not much we could do there. Hands, arms, head, brain. We want to make sure we can protect our brain. So full, uh, full face helmet. Check our airway. Full face helmet. Gloves. He's got great gloves on, as you can see. Looks like he's got full gear. Oh, I, he does have full gear. He says he has an airbag vest and full gear. So did the best he possibly can. So once the airbag vest popped open, it's going to protect. If he has one that, that covers the front, too, it's going to protect his rib cage. Very good, because that's very important. And... Uh, Kind of walked away from it. Now, having insurance would be great because that bike is destroyed. And hopefully that car slammed the brakes so that not all the forces are going to go into his body. But let's go ahead and take a look. So he's wearing full gear, airbag vest, very good. And we're going to just move on to this next one. All right, I know damn well that car can't see, and I'm riding in the hip pocket of the car in front of me. This is a great position for safety. Or, uh, yeah, position for safety. We have a good line of sight. We have a great escape path in front of us. And our space cushion is good because if anything does happen, we can just continue going straight. But what do you guys see right now in the chat? Right in the chat, what do you see popping up? Three, two, one. We have side of the vehicle right here. This is going to indicate if it's a driveway or not, whatever, indicate that there's a possibility that there's a road where a vehicle can do this. Now, do we have a line of sight issue for any vehicles that are kind of waiting on the other side of this vehicle? Possibly. Let's see what happens. That's my best guess. I haven't seen these videos yet. Good job with the brakes. Good job with the brakes. You usually see people at this point, like, oh, this person's slowing down. They're turning around. I'm going to accelerate into that gap. And that car comes out, and there's not enough uh, total stopping distance to really handle that situation. And they crash into the side of the vehicle. So this is really good, maintaining good speed. Rolled off the throttle, applied the brakes, and then swerved a little bit for that gap was opening. But that's what I was looking for before we even saw the crash. I was looking for those sides of the vehicles that are in the back. There's a possibility, so we go into orange stage. So brakes, moved over. We went from 38 to 22, which is very simple on a bike. And then we just accelerate past. We didn't turn around and flip anybody off. We have a turn coming up, so we're staring back there and we keep going straight when the, when the road keeps turning. That'd be bad. So good job. Came over a hill too hot. So that's the crest of the hill. Oh, got a little launched over. Thankfully, there's no cars coming, but we, we can't tell right here. So crest of the hill is like a blind corner, but it's vertical. Instead of blind corner this way, blind corner that way, it's vertical. 
And so we can't see what's on the other side. We don't know if it's going to turn afterwards. We don't know if there's other vehicles or if people stopped. And the fact that he went up and went a little too high, his front tire went up. Thankfully, no vehicles were here. Got lucky. Wear gear, dude. Wear some gear just in case. Noisy Pipes Moto. Here we go. Going through here. We have. There's no audio, so we're going to kind of travel. What do we got? Any animals maybe popping out? We got a corner right here. Slow it down. Can't see around it. Oh, geez. Oh, hit the brick wall or the stone wall. Hopefully his left hand is fine. We talk about mechanism and that triumph. Oh, I wonder if he created that dent with his knee. You see the dent on the gas tank? Probably. So if your knee can dent the gas tank just from that, imagine if you didn't have armor in that right knee pocket. You could have a broken patella. Oh, he's got a broken foot. Probably left side. So when we're talking about mechanism of injury, left side impact. Yeah, so let's take a look at this real quick. I did say before the stream we were going to do pause, no pause, but these are great videos for education. So we come up to here. We're looking beautiful view, right? What's You can't see where this corner is going. Can't see where it's going. So let's go ahead and slow it down, roll off the throttle. When it comes to planning our ride, we're positioned for safety. This is a good position. Locate any hazards. Eh, this is kind of, a, yeah, assess if it's a relevant threat. It's a blind corner. That's a relevant threat to me. It's a blind corner. How do we navigate this active threat, which is going to be an external environmental threat? Roll off the throttle, maybe even apply some trail braking, and then go through the corner. Once you can see the exit, so right now we can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Now we can see. Once you're still in that position because you, you've preempted the corner, now you can accelerate through the exit because you're already pointing that way. You're slowed down enough. You, you handled it. Now you can see. Your vision is what leads you. But uh, we kind of failed that, so we have a broken foot as a consequence. Right knee, maybe a little bit of injury because of the gas tank. Um, hopefully he's doing fine. He's got some gear, but he does, he did have, let's, does it show? So these are just regular shoes. Yeah. Regular shoes. Yeah. You got full gear, but regular shoes. Let's go ahead and get some. Cause they do have composite toe boxes, maybe even steel toe that broken foot. Who knows? It could have been his, uh, tarsal metatarsals phalanges down there. We don't know what broke. Maybe his ankle, and they have the, uh, the ankle protectors too. Hopefully it would mitigate it. Maybe it's a bone bruise, which still hurts and takes a while to heal, but it's not a broken bone. All right. Goon Squad, we had an accident. Slow down. There's the dust up right there. Once you see that, it's time to rescue. So remain calm. As soon as you see that dust up, remain calm, ensure your own safety, and then when you get to the person, do an assessment, stop the bleeds. If there is any. Oh, we had a wreck. So here's the, there's the dust up. That's you're gonna get your adrenaline up all of a sudden. Do some box breathing. Four in, four out. Four seconds in, four seconds out. Four seconds in, four seconds out. It'll help uh, regulate your nervous system. So into the field. Thankfully, there's some workers. Definitely looks like California. You can see where so it kind of went off of. You didn't see this turn. White everyone's turn. helping. That's and good. Oh. So if he's walking wounded, that's good. That's a good sign. Right, I see that coming. <laughs> yeah, walking wounded. Everyone's everyone's helping out. That's there great. We there we go. Imagine if you did that by yourself. Yeah. Nobody to help you, and you couldn't get up because you had like a broken back. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. And it was like 9 p.m. Hey, still, does it still start? Is good. All right, here we go. A little stunt bike, having some fun, practicing on the streets. Oh, did he hit a... Did, was that a person laying down? Or was it just trash? So hopefully no injuries. Because um, you could easily have a right knee injury. Okay, that wasn't uh, a homeless person. That's good. So he jumped the curb, damaged the bike, whatever. He knows how to probably fix it because he's probably broken his bike a few times. Uh, those Fox racing gloves don't have the, the protection, the TPU, the thermoplastic, whatever. Um, abrasion resistance, not really there. It's meant to just for a tactile feel. And then when we hit the ground, we hit right side mechanism injury, right? There's his knee. It was already ripped, the pants. But we can have knee injuries now. So uh, not good. Hopefully his shoulder's fine too. 
bike's probably fine because of the crash guards. All right, here we go. Can't see anything. Doubt that the biker added the throttle too confidently during the turn. A very unpleasant fall, fortunately, which only ended with scratches on the bike. Only with scratches on the bike. Okay. Bike got some abrasions, got some road rash. Write in the comments why you think that happened. You can't see, right? You can't see anything. So was it road surface, bald tires, too much acceleration through the corner, so the tires didn't have traction? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Too much throttle? It's 11 o'clock at night. Oh, here we got another view. Okay. And sometimes the RPMs go up when the tire loses traction because you still have that maintenance of the throttle and it just keeps going. So it can sound like oh my. too much throttle. And it could also be too much throttle too. Lots of the little things, right? So make sure your tires are good. What lesson here? Tires are good. Road surface hazards. Not too much throttle through a corner. Especially a tight Ooh. Rescue, 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 rescue. Very good. She told someone to call 911. Okay, I don't know if the music is copyrighted, so we're going to have to mute it. So, uh, and then she said, call 911. That's part of rescue. So, remain calm is call 911 or tell someone to call 911. Now, this is a very high mechanism. Somebody could be ejected, so they could be in the bushes. So, we're doing a quick look. Uh, top compartment is crushed. Um, here, when it comes to ensuring your own safety, these vehicles can roll over onto you if you try to get in. Uh, like right here, if if it rolls even more, it's going to crush you. So be very careful. Make sure it's stabilized. And you can't really make sure unless you have the gear. So looking through the, the windshield is a great way to see if there's anybody in there. Okay. Now, the only way to gain access is through the doors that are now up on top. So when you get up there, you oh, very good. He's punching the windows. Now, it's laminated glass. So that's why it's cracking, but it's not going to come out in pieces. Be very careful, you can cut yourself too. I've done that before in training. And then it's gonna be very difficult to get them out if that's the case. Now some people, okay, it looks like they're gonna to wanna to push it back onto their tires. That can cause more injuries because the, the mechanism that we have here, we probably have spinal. So on the backside of the rescue card, spinal cord injuries, head injuries, you could jostle them back. So at this point, if they're breathing and not bleeding out, leave them in there. Let EMS come and, and take the liability, to be quite honest. Vehicle is not on fire, so there's no need for an emergency move or urgent move. And then right here, it's kind of dangerous because it could collapse back on you. So there's that jostle that you could have. Try before you pry. So try opening the doors. They could be, the metal could be cramped. Okay, very good. Did it. And uh, she's got can some Kanata dries. Probably had a stomach ache and need some ginger ale. Um, yeah, if she's not bleeding and not, I mean, she's conscious and aware, you didn't, oh, and she's, is she pregnant? That's probably can indicate the, uh, maybe morning sick. Oh, you see that? Right there. Yep. You got some bleeding. Got some bleeding. Where's that coming from? Yeah, the place is going to look like a mess just because everything got thrown around. So if you have any loose, heavy objects in your vehicle, that could definitely hit you. I have a cinder block in my van, so I need to get that out. All right, let's go ahead and move on. That was uh, interesting. How I would have handled it, I mean, if everyone's doing it, everyone's doing it, but I would have told everybody, leave her in there. She's conscious. She's breathing. She's only on her side. She's not upside down. Uh, continue to talk to her. Um, just relax. Just relax. All right, let's go and take a look. Open lane, are they gonna move back over to us? They're gonna take up both lanes because it's an oversized vehicle. Don't go underneath, buddy. Now nah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Don't go underneath. You're like, okay, can I do it? Is there, can, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, oh, geez. That is, do it for the gram. Don't recommend doing it, but I mean, now you have a story. Now you have a story to tell your friends. All right. That truck driver's probably pissed. I was like, damn it. What is he watching? 
Anyways, here we go. Despite poor visibility, the bike right, listen to music. To spot the driver, select a maneuver, and react accordingly. Okay, idiot alert coming up. Nighttime, watch out for any left people turning. Yeah. Side of the vehicle, somebody left the gap open. Good job with applying the brakes. My biggest fear is somebody behind me running into me. Try not to watch shows. I get it, YouTube has some, you know, has their YouTube music. Okay, so open lane pattern. What are we gonna do? Find the escape, find the escape, maintain it, maintain it, maintain it, doing a good job. Okay, so what happened here? We have somebody uh, wanting to turn left maybe at the intersection. Oh, it was a merge area, line of sight issue. So we're going pretty fast probably. I'm trying to pause it right on his speedo when the frame is perfect. No, we're not, we're going 65. We're probably going the speed limit. So this stuff can just happen. So this is, speed's not a factor. I mean, speed is a factor always, depending on the situation. But right here, we're on the interstate or highway, probably 65. We're going faster than a lot of traffic. Right here, what do we do? Oh, crap. You could have swerved right, but we had that car right there. So that would have been a difficult swerve to swerve right on. So he went for the gap that he can. And as motorcyclists, we only need a little bit. So our main goal here at this point is to not hit our foot or the tire and, and maybe our brake rotors on the curb. Carlos, welcome to the crew. Uh, we don't want to hit that. So our really tar target fixating, almost like a balance beam in that little spot. And our goal is to slow down, which it looks like he's doing. And we kind of stopped. So good job. That was good. This is the best we could possibly do here. This is the best we could possibly do here. Open lane pattern. Good swerve. Okay, we just caught on fire there. Literally just a close call with an incel. Okay. Um, I don't know if people still use that term. So it looks like the roads are a little wet. They went for the open spot. Kind of a mean move that took up. Oh. What was that? Yeah, what a. That's a D bag move. That's a D bag move. So what I was trying to get at, because I don't really care about the road rage part, goal is not to escalate, is that somebody did come out in front of us. We were anticipating utilizing this spot all the way to the to the intersection as our total stopping distance. And if we can't utilize our total stopping distance because it's you know our braking distance is now shortened because of a dumb dumb like this, we now have to apply the brakes even harder, still progressively. We still want to uh, do it progressively, but we have to now do it a little bit quicker. And with rain. And with now we're coming up to an intersection where the middle of the lane has oil, typically. Um, we're going to want to put ourselves in a better position. So all the way to the left, if we can, of our lane, and apply the brakes progressively quicker so that we're not in the oil. Okay, I do middle, middle, middle. I got some uh, feedback on that. Middle, middle, middle for corners. Guys, when, we're, when cars are sitting at intersections, they are consistently dripping for that minute or two that they're stuck there. In corners, you're getting like a drop. If they're still consistently dropping, right, oil, there, there's a drop here. Then there's a drop like 100 feet, another drop 100 feet, another drop 100 feet. You're not going to have a, an accumulation of oil in the corners in the middle. Now, you can. That's why we adjust. But typically, no. Here at intersection, yes. Yes, you're going to have an accumulation of oil, especially when it's raining, the surfactant level of it. It's going to raise the oil because they don't mix, right? Oil stays on top of water. So when water hits the, the ground, it's going to go underneath the oil and then lift it up. And then that's when you're going to have slippery sloppery stuff. So that's a technical term. So move over. A little bit of a jostle. You saw that. So good job. He was going to move over to get to the front, but move over so you have a good position for safety. Yeah, it's a D-bag move of the Ford Explorer. Don't get out. Leave it as is. Think of it as like an achievement of your skill set that you handled a situation that could have gone worse. Be proud of yourself. Build yourself for your confidence doing that. Grabbing his headphones for him to, to skinny road right. Okay, interesting. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay, we're all waiting. Kind of hanging out. Oh, his headphones are on the top of the... Nice. Good for you, dude. Yeah. Love it, love it. That was nice. Nobody wants to lose their expensive headphones. Where are we going there though? Billionaire, that's the name of the guy. Seeing the enraged man, the biker immediately decides to leave the place. Industrial area. In his way in a rather and thoughtless way. He's, he's probably practicing in the parking lots in this industrial area and it's a big open road because all the trucks need to be there. Oh, hides his face. I don't know why. Uh-oh, somebody's coming out. 
Just keep moving. Just move on. There you go. Just like that. She was an idiot. That was really dumb of her. It's like you do know this is like a five, six hundred pound machine traveling at speed and you're going to get in front of it. Like if he hit her, it's I don't think he's going to be in trouble. Write in the comments if you think he will be. So good job juking it. You see that? Boom. Juked her. She's not an athlete. That was dumb. That was dumb of her. Enjoy the broken ankles. Exactly. He juked her, dude. And enjoy the broken ankles. I love that. that was, and a thumbs up. Very good. I like a thumbs up. Snapped her ankles, man. Yeah, just move on. They just don't like the exhaust or whatever. We got more? All right, here we go. I swear the goats came out of nowhere. Probably. Animals are unpredictable. They don't know what's going on. Even kids. Line of sight issue. Good job. The other one saw. That one jumped out. So we have a line of sight issue with that wall. It could have been a, a bunch of pedestrians, right? Or a car. But nope. Side of the goat. Side of the goat. Good job not panicking. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Two wheel dasher. Two wheels dasher. Here we go. Okay, they're leaving you a gap. We see this all the time with. We see it with cars letting cars in and almost us hitting them. Now it's the reverse of we're let in and we almost get T boned. So be careful. Be careful. It's human behavior, not car behavior. Roundabout. Okay, they went the wrong way around the roundabout. Interesting. They were supposed to go around. So having the GPS is really helpful. We have a side of the vehicle doing a U-turn like an idiot. The illegal U-turn, which it's illegal because it can cause a crash like this. So good job with the brakes. Okay, we have anything coming out. Line of sight issues all around. There it is. Good job with the swerve. Get back. Very good. Handled it. And he's not speeding like crazy. HP4 Moto Vlogger. Are we going to have a crash in the corner? Hmm. So write in the comments all the different factors that you saw. Ooh, we don't have gear, and hopefully he didn't hit that great. <laughs> like, dude, he probably has broken something. <laughs> yeah, last thing you want is somebody yanking your arm out of something when you have, like, a broken shoulder, and they're just ripping all your tendons and ligaments out. So we're coming around the corner. This is our uh, lane. Somebody is an idiot and passed on that lane. Um, and then we lose traction. And it sucks. It says, mom is waiting at home. Ugh. So we lose traction, probably slammed the rear brake, lost traction, slid. The whole I had to lay her down thing. When we did have a gap, he looks like he was shooting for that gap. We have a gap right there. We could have went for that gap without slamming the brakes. And now we hit the grate, and that's going to be very painful. So wearing full gear is super important. Let's take a look. Aditya Gunti. That's the name. But on the other hand, the biker could expect such a maneuver, especially... I don't like crossing parking lots like that, because people don't anticipate that. There's no reason to be passing people in parking lots, because they might be doing a wide turn to get into a parking space. So be very careful. Just wait. Be patient. Be patient. They're going on the other side. Not a lot of people anticipate somebody passing when they're trying to make a spot. Watch the blue car drive like an idiot. I confront her in the video as well about her idiotic driving. Watch her reaction. Chris Hinckley. Here we go. So she's up on that person's butt. We have a good space cushion. We have good line of sight. We have a good plan. We're doing really well with our plan method here. So that person's being dumb. Let them be dumb. Let them be dumb. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay, make sure we stay safe ourselves. Okay, we caught up to her at a light. Let her know she's being a dumb dumb. You drive like a Do whatever you want. You drive as long God damn, you're stupid. All right, leave it at that. Leave it at that. Sometimes saying that kind of stuff is loving. They need to know it sometimes. All right, brakes. It looks like we have wet roads. 
why they why were they applying the brakes right they're looking around so uncommon thing in a common situation there was there was a pedestrian that did cross but it's some people like to stop until they're completely across versus stop when they're in your path of travel and then they go so i mean there's some people that do that it doesn't really matter there's a vehicle stopped in in, the, in front of you so what are you going to do you got to stop and slow down not a big deal not a big deal it's a good opportunity to practice your progressive braking here we go you can't see anything there we go you think what's wrong in this fade from black was a long Make fade sure when changing lanes or curve good position you can see pretty far just watch out for open lane patterns why is this person slamming the brakes because of that we kind of saw that let's take a look so we're coming up to here can see pretty far we can see ahead of the vehicle when we get in this position okay we can see ahead of the vehicle so this is part of planning your ride position for safety right who quite confidently decided to pause why are they applying the brakes when there's no vehicles in front of them why are they applying the brakes when no vehicles in front of them? Because they're making a decision to switch lanes or there's something that they see that you don't see. They're making decisions that are irrelevant to you. So let's not get near them. We need to wait for them to make their decision. This is the car. There's a gap right there, right in front of them. They're probably going for that gap. And there's probably a reason why there's tons of vehicles in that right lane. Maybe there's like an event going on and they're all going to turn right because that's what the GPS says. So... Who knows? At the end of the day, there's a vehicle in front of us and we shouldn't be next to them. We saw the pattern. We saw the pattern. Hopefully nothing's damaged. Hopefully we're fine. Looks like they got scratched up just a little bit. go We're going a little fast that's fine whatever it looks pretty bumpy unless it's just the camera whoa so we our body position really pushed us on the inside oh and we lost control we almost fell off ourselves got back on very good get back in our lane very good handled it handled it but that's one of the big problems with, if you don't have that training you could fall off and it's good to train at a uh on a track for that check his pants now here we go i don't know if this is copyrighted sometimes these get copyrighted i don't know why motostars puts on copyrighted music here we go so oh let's go back just a little bit that was a great opportunity to learn so we're going in and out of traffic uh oh why did they switch over we got to find the escape found the escape move through the escape we put ourselves in that position we're just trying to go through heavy traffic when we could just be going with traffic yamaha all right, here we go. Went off road. Why did we go off road? Target fixation, that's what it says right there. We had a nice comment at the beginning of the live stream. It's like, how do you uh, navigate target fixation? Well, if you're target fixating on the problem, which is gonna be the off road part of that corner, that's not good. You first need to have the awareness that you are target fixating on the problem. So repurpose your target fixation because it's a tool on the solution, which would be through the corner. And that's gonna then uh, affect your body into wanting to do that. So you have to be aware. So we're going through a corner, went a little bit wide, applied the brakes, kept it up, did fine. Lesson learned. Hopefully the bike's not damaged. Get back on the road and go. Oh, this is kind of a hard navigation. I don't think they did that on purpose to piss you off. I tend to, when I drive my car, I hug, I, I go in and out of the left side. So I, with my line of sight, I can see past the vehicles and I'm gonna get back into my lane. I see past the vehicles, what's going on? Back in my lane. We're passing on the inside and it just so happens, maybe this person's like, what's going on? They're not checking the mirrors, they're looking forward. They're like, why, like what's what's the problem here? How, how long is the line? And so I don't think it was a purposeful action to harm the motorcyclist. I think it was more of like, I want to see and I'm in a car. I don't know, that's my guess. Okay, nice little wave, let him in. Get a little tippity tap on the mirror. He wants to do a fist bump, dude. Give him a fist bump. Uh-oh. Anger man. 
Angry man with camo pulls out a shotgun and birdshot. Still hurts. Okay. I'll just tell leave. You exactly what happened? Yeah, you think you're gonna speed down the road? You're not even allowed to drive on about run over a pedestrian? Get out of my face! Huh? Get out of my face! Who do you think you are? Get out of my face! Why? Okay. He's setting boundaries, saying get out of my get out of his face. It's fun. We're oh no, yeah, it's fun. You see that speed limit right there? Cause we're kids. I don't care. It's 25. Just both these old, and you can't have fun anymore. Both no, both these people are escalating. And just move on, speed. move on. Are you gonna wreck it for everybody? He's wrong too for saying what he's saying. The person yeah, that's filming, like just this. move on. Yeah, I do. Just you move, move on. Run me over, you about killed me twice. Cause you were in the middle of the road. I'm a pedestrian, and you have no legal right on it. I was going down the road, minding my own business, and you, you came out. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Arguments are fun. Sad. Car flips, bad accident. Uh oh. Car, that's maybe rescue. Oh no. oh no, there's already ambulance on scene. We're good. No. We can move on. Oh no. Interesting to see. This is called rubbernecking no, when you're just like that's staring. So bad. Sometimes people oh get in accidents because they're not looking okay. forward. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. So the rollover. Oh, they're tending to the wounded. Okay. Oh my god. That's insane. I've, it's insane if you've never really seen it. But I've been on these calls so many times. And I'm like, yeah. What kind of mechanism? What kind of injuries? How many patients? Are we safe on scene? The fire truck is blocking everything, so that's cool. Um, everyone's on the side of the road? Cool. The vehicle's there? Cool. The tow truck's going to handle it? Cool. It's just... Oh, wow. I you get to that point. They're all right. Yeah, I hope so, too. This is crazy. It is crazy, but you know what? Thank you so much, Moto Stars, for putting these videos out. I really do so. I really do appreciate it. But make sure we do have that 25% off sale just this weekend. So when this video goes out after the weekend's over, it's kind of done. But with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video and live stream. So that was 32 minutes. Let's get some music going. Ooh. Um. I'm going to have to cut that one up. We did a lot of front-end educational stuff, right? Did a lot of that. It's going to be an interesting edit. How are you guys feeling? We have 230 of you in class right now, but only uh, 147 likes, guys. Make sure you guys grab a slice of pizza before you head out. I don't know why anybody doesn't want to sit up here. You guys are all in the back. Kind of standing weird. You know what? That's usually where all the crayons are. Okay. Looking to get an EMS EMR. How do you recommend I start? Uh, I know EMR is like a like on the ladder below. Um, it really depends on if you want to make a career out of it. Um, taking a stop the bleed class is a great start. It's a great start. Any kosher pizza? I'm not too sure. Maybe you get Costco's and QT pizzas to come in. How you doing, John S? John or Ghost Talents? Two hundred likes, guys. Yep. Let's get thirty-seven more likes, and we're gonna start on this next uh, next video. Taking the MSF course in August. Nice. Someone in the crew is possessed by an owl. Okay. The back row is the Squid Central. It's where all the troublemakers troublemakers sit. Yep. So we're going to do another another promo. It's just going to be me doing this thing again at the beginning of this video. So 30 more likes, guys, and we're going to get started. I know. I know I was supposed to do that, Arrow. I was just uh, I was messing with you. This is a good dad joke. This is a good dad joke. Any good gear recommendations for beginners? Um... Reacts Alta Mesh is really good, and that's a Revzilla product. Start there. They have gloves, jackets, pants, and I think boots now. The Reacts, R E A X. I don't know if they have helmets yet. Scorpion helmets are good. Voss helmets are good. So any, as long as they're ECE recommended or uh, certified. But yeah, we're going to get started uh, in 18 more likes. So those of you in class, hit that like button. There you go. 
Yeah, if you live in a small communities with small tier EMS, you should be able to find a class. Exactly. That's a good start. Empty tin, that's a good that's a good tip. Nice defense. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing fell. Doing fell. Doing well. Guys, we're gonna get started real soon. Then after this class, I'm gonna edit. So once this video is done, we're gonna do a very quick, like, hey, pick up after yourselves, take some of this pizza home. We don't have any to-go boxes, you're just gonna have to hold it. Um, and then I'm gonna get to editing because I got I got a lot of stuff to do today. And we're gonna be editing these videos. And if you're a YouTube member, the uh, I think uh, I'll put Sunday's video out first so you guys get to see it and then it'll be scheduled for Sunday. How you doing, Nick? 15 more likes, everybody. You completed the break-in of your bike. Very nice. KLR 650 is great. I, I had one for a couple months, and I loved it. Loved it. A lot of fun. 14 more likes, everybody, and we're going to get started. Nine more likes, and we're going to get started. Just got updated. Nine more. That's people that are signing into class. Guys, once again, grab a slice of pizza. Bathrooms are out that door. Go down the hall. Turn right. You have to go down about 20 feet, then turn left. And then you're going to keep going straight. And then you're going to take another left. And then another left, and you're back in the class. But then, you know, then you can uh, find it because it's actually right there, right on the outside of the door. I just wanted you to walk around. But, um... Six more likes, guys. Jeremy, how you doing? Angel, how you doing? Um, if you're scraping peg on your bobber when you turn, you're doing something wrong, you can keep the bike up more upright if you lean your body a little bit more. I highly recommend taking a Total Control ARC class. They teach you that. They teach you that well. And then Moto Jitsu also does that stuff too. He like teaches that. Especially on cruisers, you're going to want to have a different kind of body positioning than you would for uh, sport bikes. Do I have a gear helmet hanger mount for the wall? No, I don't. I don't. I just hang it up in my closet. Nick, that's great, man. Hope, you, hope you're doing fine in your little shop. Ever thought about getting my pilot's license? Eh, it's a lot of money. Thinking of... Uh, I think I'm just gonna focus on this. Bought the training book and cones to help practice. Angel, nice. Guys, once again, 25% off right now. You have to put in the discount code. Discount code. Four more likes and we're gonna get started on this video. Let's take a look at this video. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't seen these. It's a 20 minute video, geez. We might be, uh, might be here for a bit. Got some swerves. Your muscles activated. Interesting, interesting. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Three more likes, guys. Three more likes, and we're going to get started. Let's get the music back up. We're going to do a quick uh, ad read for this, so we're going to make myself big. That's what she said. I think. Two-parter. Yeah, we're going to do this one now. So we do have that sale. We do have a sale going on. 202 likes. All right, guys. We had 200 people signed into class today. Very good. Very good. 100 likes per video, basically. All right. Let's turn the music down. Once again, if you're new here, what we do is we do a quick little ad read at the beginning of the, the video. You guys see the behind-the-scenes stuff. We're going to be doing the sale right now. So they're going to see this tomorrow and this weekend. But, yeah, guys, the sale is 25% off right now using the code... Go practice 25. So you can go ahead and get it now if you want. So you're seeing it a day early. But it's for the uh, booklet and it's for the cones. But this is going to be like a little bit longer ad read because I'm testing that out because I don't want to do it super quick. I want to show everything. I want to show everything. So I'm going to make sure I get the drill booklet because you get you get this also. When you, when you buy it, you get a download that has this. So... 
Here we go, everybody. Let's hit that record button. Three, two, and one. What is up, everybody? Before we jump into this next video, there is a dis uh, a sale going on for the Smart Rider Drill Booklet. It's 25% off. Go practice 25. So you get the drill booklet. And it's also available for the drill booklet and cones. You can get it separately. But each one, every time you, uh, when you get it, you're going to get the digital phone-friendly version of it also. So you can mount this on your bike when you go practice. You get the physical. You get the cones if you want. 25% off this weekend only, though. This weekend only. Go practice 25. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video right here. People crashing. A little bit of road rage. No bueno. Let's take a look. Today we will start with a situation in which a minor remark was taken very personally uh -oh. by a Harley rider. Ah, taking things personally. The rider couldn't control. Not it. good. If I would have turned over on it. Don't take it personally. Well, what they say is their own personal. What if I would have went on the right, bro? What if, right? Yeah. What's up, bro? Nah, don't be a about it, bro. You don't got to handle it. Just go on, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just move on. Let them go in the front. Hey, yeah, now he's just being a d bag. Leave him. Let him be dumb. Like I'm on a Harley, homie. Dude, I'm cruising, bro. I have a family to go to. You pass me on the right. Wrong. Dude, you passed me on the right. I didn't even see you coming. Man. Right safe, bro. There you go. Handled it. Did well. Oh, geez. Wisconsin plate. Yeah, see, let them embarrass themselves. Let them embarrass themselves. Move on. Here we go. Louis and Enrique Viscione. All right, what do we do? Whoa! Found the escape. That person was not paying attention. They went through the turn. We're not paying attention whatsoever. So we're coming up to here. We look up. We see, see an idiot. We're reaching for that front brake. We have our GPS here, which is, is a great uh, thing to have. Think of it like when you're playing a video game and you have that GPS on the bottom right or left. You know, they're playing GTA or whatever. Uh, even a racing game. It's like you know where the corners are coming up. So you can kind of prepare a little bit. It's a good information to have. So we see this. We're going to go ahead and swerve to the right. All it was was a lane position change. Remember, we're planning our ride. So positioning for safety, locating this hazardous situation, assessing if this is a relevant threat. Yes, it is. And then now we're going to navigate this active threat by just moving over our lane position. Slow it down because we have a turn coming up. Handled it. Look forward now. There you go. And we're going to move on. Squid Boy. First crash ever. Second, first group, something like that. Oh! This is why positioning for safety is so important. We're off to the sides, not behind other vehicles. Oh, geez. Not good. Not good. So ride your own ride, position for safety. The person decided to stop because there's a vehicle coming out. Now, what do we do here? We can move over. We can move over. I know there's, a, I think, another motorcyclist off to the right. So we're probably going to go for the left, even though it's paint. Even though it's paint, you don't want to be right behind this person. Waited last second, applied the brakes, reacted off their reaction. We want to react on our own reaction. Whoa, whoa. One sec, we, we, I just got an Instagram message from Squid Boy. Hey, look at that, he's watching. Squid Boy, hopefully you're watching here. Just got an Instagram message. That's fun. Squid Boy Germs. Hopefully you're doing fine. Smoker 67. Take Here we go. A look at this situation. One can observe how quickly the bike loses control of the bike right after crossing the... Wait, so Squid Boy Germs is in the chat. Go ahead and explain. I'll go ahead and talk about it because this video is going to keep going. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one. Go ahead and write in the chat and I'll, I'll talk about it. This situation. Here we go. One can observe how quickly... So we're having some fun. ...control of the bike right after crossing... Right behind this person. We have full gear. Very good. Our road markings are hazardous, especially in challenging road conditions. Road markings are hazardous. Interesting. Maybe road surface hazards are hazardous. So the camera got sloshed around because our back tire probably flipped and went a little bit crazy. Went a little bit crazy. Okay, moving on. Probably gravel. So maintain a space cushion. Position for safety. Right behind a vehicle is not very fun. If they back up, that's not good. Anybody behind you can hit? Why are we putting our side stand down? Ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Scaring her. Yeah, you gotta look next time. Okay. 
You literally almost hit me. Are okay. you serious? You literally almost hit me. I had the right of way. You can't just turn like that. You almost hit me. Did we me. see what happened? I can't hear you. You literally almost hit me. Okay. Yes, you did. Yeah, we're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. Same person. Moving on. All right, I'm posting this for educational purposes. Very good. We're doing the same thing. Oh, oh, this is definitely copyrighted music. So, yeah, this person's being a dumb dumb coming up. We were just out on a ride with our friends when somebody tried to run us over. Okay, at this point, you move on. Of course. And then she jumps in, recognizing, oh, oh, oh. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and move on. We don't need to deal with this stuff. Get their license plate like they just did right there. And then we're going to move on. There we go. New video. Double check. Okay. Full gear. Nope. Bike, you're moving at that appropriate speed. And Why are we like jump cutting and like guard frame rate the is going a little guard. crazy? All right. We'll take this opportunity because Squid Boy just said something. We were So we were riding. I know I should have been staggered. It was my fault for not anticipating my buddy to stop in his defense. He thought the car turning on the right was going to go and the car on the left was going to cut him off. And if you look at the lead rider, he kind of breaks because he thought it was a stop. So there was a ton of confusion. By the way, it's an honor being your fifth. So let's go ahead and watch your video one more time. Now with that new context. New context, we're gonna let it play. This is gonna be an interesting video for those that are watching this later. So yeah, the vehicle did look like they were gonna come out. He stopped. Yeah, right staggered. Nice little uh, traction on the front tire though. Now you know your bike can do that. Hopefully you're doing fine, man. It looks like you had full gear, so very good. Let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing. This guy is a dumb dumb for trying to do that stuff. This right here, I don't really care about that. You escalated, your emotions got a hold of you and your thoughts weren't following uh, pro appropriate actions and this person crashed and we're gonna move on past this one. We're gonna watch this one right here. Red light runner gets lucky. Ooh, geez. What do we got here? Oh, 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 it was green for us, buddy. Green for us. Good job with the brakes, but flintstoning and putting our feet down, not gonna work. Another rider not using their blinkers. Interesting cable management here. Okay, open lane pattern that we couldn't see around the corner. Let's move on. Move on. Move on. Accelerate out. Oh, we're going. Now we're going speed limit. It looks like 75, 76. Did we hit something? After these experiences, the biker decided to warn against fairings from eBay because trusting them yeah. is definitely not worth it. eBay fairings. The fairings just flew right off. He's got a naked bike now. That's cool. Almost wiping out a motorcycle when hitting oil slick while cornering. Okay. Oh, there's the oil slick. You saw it. Oh, he kept it up. Very good. So road surface hazard, definitely. Try not to ride on that. Try not to ride on that. Hopefully doing fine, squid boy. Try not to ride on that, avoid that. Fruit dealer. Another Moving through here. illustrating why it's crucial to be exceptionally careful of patent road marks. The tire lost control rapidly upon crossing the line. Oh, oh, oh. Got a little speed wobbles. We're gonna be sliding. He has full gear. Hopefully the thermal transfer isn't going up into his butt because you can get some burns. So painted line, maybe a little bit of oil and water. 360 lens broke right there. Leather gear, the thermal transfer with leather gear is less than um, with like uh, aramid fibers and textiles. So you can still get the friction heat, the abrasions and friction heat into your body when you're sliding like that. So it's really good that he had this gear on because it's uh, hopefully not going to cause any burns. But you can still feel it. Maybe you get a first degree. Yeah, a little speed wobble. A little speed wobble. Lost traction. Lady blows through a yield sign. Okay. We switched a bunch of lanes and we got into her lane. Wait a second. No, 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 no. You notice how people blame others for their own actions? Look at this. Our lane, yield. 
First available lane, right here. First available lane. Second available lane. And then we get into their lane. That's all you, buddy. Nope. That's all you. Maybe because you want to turn right right here? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that was all you. That was all you. That, mm, okay. Motorcycle crash on Palomar Mountain. So we got EMS on scene. You don't necessarily have to rescue. They've already got it handled. But look at what could happen. Not good. Wait, that was the... From the previous video. Is this the deer? The deer that jumped out, hit him, and then he crashed head on. That's why the vehicle's still there. So this is the after. It was caught by two different motovloggers or two different people that, that record. Interesting. So if you haven't seen that, guys, we, our, my other video had that in there. Interesting. It's the, yeah. That, and so there's the aftermath. So he, he said he was fine. He had an airbag vest and everything. So they, they're still doing a checkout on him. I wonder how fine he really was. Wow. Although the rider behind kept a safe distance, he good was save. focused enough and good good position, or a position. position ended with a panic-induced braking. Panic-induced braking. Lay her down. Oh, we're working with like a potato camera. So we got like three frames per second. Oh, person behind hit, maybe? Yeah, person behind us. That, uh, yeah, he dumps the bike. It's a layer down episode. So that's what it looks like when you uh, slam that front brake. That front tire washes out and locks up. That right there. Yeah. And then we have a three-quarter helmet, so we don't have full protection on our face. That's not good at all. Yeah. So make sure we wear a full face just in case. You see his head kind of go down. I mean, he's getting crushed right there with the curb. Yeah, that's not. That's just not good. That's not good. Not good. Remain calm, ensure your own safety, stop any major bleeds best you can. He's on the ground. Hopefully nothing broken. We're gonna move on. Here we go. JD Mijon. First time riding the dragon. Okay, wear gear. No gloves. Why put out the risk when you this could happen and you don't have any gear? There's the high side, lost some traction. These corners are a little bit sharp. Okay. A little bit sharp. You don't need to be going fast on straightaways just to slow down all the way and keep and maintain a good speed. All right, so Speedo is uh, edited out because we're probably going really fast. Open lane pattern. We didn't recognize it. They didn't see us. There's the impact, and we crashed our bike. We're moving on. TJ, here we go. Side of the vehicle. Good job with the progressive braking. Handled it. Moved over. Moving over. Very good. Oh, practice your tight turns from a stop. Practice your turns. Going around this corner, went wide. Flintstoned it. Whoa. Target fixate on the exit, not on the car you're about to hit. Whoa. What are we honking for? Turning left. Okay, if you had your car to pack talk bolds and edge. A quick decision to pull onto the shoulder and the rider in front couldn't react prepared. Gravel, some gravel dirt. Yeah. Why are we pulling over in the first place? So if it was just to communicate with each other, if you had your cardos, you could just talk to each other the whole time. Well, the pants were up. Link in the description for 10% off if you really want to get a cardo unit. Oh, that sucks. Hey, be careful when you're applying the brakes on sandy roads like that. And you usually see them in the divots where the water will flow through. It'll buff out. Um, I'm gonna pull this off the road, yeah? Nice backpack. Just go sit down. All right, here we go. So intersections, orange stage, prepped and ready just in case anything pops out. They're gonna keep turning left. They're gonna keep following people. 
they're gonna they're gonna keep following so good job just creeping out and not accelerating through that all right kappa 27 your buddy went a little wide and he dumped the bike so remain calm ensure your own safety stop him maybe he's walking oh he's grabbing his stomach oh you got the impact on your genitals why are you gonna hit your friend what was that about Bro, calm down. This is a failure of your skill set. Hey, rage quitted. All right, here we go. A little Honda Rebel, love it. Side of the vehicle right there, intersection. They're slowing it down, so finding the escape. Good job. Good job finding the escape. Yeah, good job. Handled it. That's fine. They don't really care. Okay, we're going through here on a scooter. Despite the turnout being exceptionally difficult, the panic reaction... Wear some gear, we're not wearing gear. ...to stay on the road. So that was definitely a target fixation problem. We were not looking... Somebody's squealing. Somebody's slamming the brakes. That was an easy turn, guys. Stay on the road. We just didn't turn. We just didn't turn at all. That's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Pay attention. Pay attention. Go through the turn. That was an easy turn. We we're just going too fast for us and we we're looking at the outside. Oh. See the He's wiping his hands on his uh his pants. So we're missing some fleshy pits. Right there. Right there. And guess what? Where we have reinforced leather or reinforced, uh, you know, padding basically on our, on our gloves. Right there. We wouldn't be having that issue. It's tomato sauce. You're right. An absolute crazy woman. The side of the vehicle right there. Watch out. They might come out. They might come out. We're going pretty good speed. Whoa. What's your problem? She wasn't paying attention, so she probably honked and moved to the side. She's a, an a-hole. Let's move on. Yeah, I don't care. Nice eyebrows. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Get new gloves, buddy. Gloves are starting to fall apart. If your gloves are falling apart like that, when it does impact the ground, it's just... It's, it's not good. It's just going to rip off. You want to have... Uh, Good stitching on gloves. Skunk! Oh, jeez. Here we go. Open lane merging. They're going to switch lanes on us. Yep. Yep. Good job accelerating through your escape. So what I was saying here is it's a merging area. This vehicle that's in the right lane is going to move over because they don't want to get hit by the other vehicles, and they're being nice to let them in. So when you start seeing that stuff, you're in orange stage because it's an intersection, right? It's a merging area, path of travel, violation possibilities. We, we can see this pattern coming up. So we can either apply the brakes and stay staggered with them, hoping that nothing really happens. But if they do come over and we don't do anything, we can also accelerate into our escape path. Because we're on motorcycles. You can just go bloop, accelerate through. Because we're just going straight. We have a good space cushion in front of us. We're not going to hit anybody. And if we needed to, we could have swerved in the right lane. See this? Accelerate through. Now we're good. He didn't keep accelerating. But look forward. Look forward. There you go. The camera did. The camera looked forward. The day before Thanksgiving. So you can't see around this vehicle. Position for safety. Allow a better space cushion or move off to the left so you can see better. Instead of right behind the vehicle, they're going to make some good stuff. Didn't do a 360 head check. Didn't check. Didn't do a head check. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So they came back. Okay. It was like a hit and run. So the lady, came, the come back to the accident. It might take a bit to do, do a U-turn in a car. Here we go. Mark, side of the vehicle right there. Are they going to come out? Yeah. Good job with the brakes. Good job handling it. Now that they're, they're gone, you just go straight. 
handled it well. Bruce Scott, here we go. An exceptional focus during the turn, allowing him to notice the driver attempting to overtake him in an appropriate place. Yeah, let him let him overtake before the turn. Oh, we were about to turn and they overtook. So good job. I mean, being able to see with those mirrors, pretty good. So saw the person hauling booty, it probably in the left lane. I have to turn left. Did a quick strategy in their head. It's like if I turn left now, I'm gonna get hit. So I'm gonna slow it down, have my indicator on. And when they pass, we're just like, whatever. But good job visualizing and seeing it. So that's part of the OODA loop, orient and decide. So observe, orient and decide. And it's also part of plan. Position for safety, locate hazardous situations, not just in front of you, but around you. Assess any relevant threats, not just in front of you, but around you. Navigate active threats, not just in front of you, but around you. That person was behind us. Just maintain our spot. That was the best position for us. The next position would have been a turn left, and that's not fun. Because we would have gotten hit. We would have gotten hit. Kev. Okay, it's probably copyrighted. Here we go, moving on. So we're all having fun on our... Are those e-bikes or are those internal combustion engines? Uh, it looks like a lot of them are e-bikes, some Surons. That's, this is a lot of fun. We have like areas like this in Tucson. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no. Broken collarbones, ribs. It's easy to break. How did that happen? So I was going to say, we have like little roads like this for bikes. It looks a lot like this. It's called the loop. Lots of fun on the e-bike. Lots of fun on regular bicycles. Um, so how? So he like lost traction and just kind of did this. Oh, that's not good. And then up and over. So mechanism injury right here, right? We're going to talk mechanism injury. So right elbow, right radius, an ulna. Right shoulder, so AC joint, but then the collarbone attached to it, if it gets compressed and like twisted and some leverage, it can break a collarbone easy. Heads should be fine, hopefully, because of the helmet, but right hip also. Oh, and he's he's kind of guarding too, so he's got an injury to that right side. So good job, buddy. You just caused an accident. Yammy bobber. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Hey, deer. Good job recognizing it, applying the brakes, allowing that dumb dumb to go across. Oh, we're in, we're in blind spot here. What's gonna happen? They're starting to cross over that that white line. That's gonna let you know they're getting in your lane. Move over, a better position. Handled it. Okay, we're lane filtering. Okay, watch out for any pedestrians or idiots. Open. Who opens their car door in traffic? I didn't touch you, love. Get back into your car. Look, I've got you on camera, love. Get back into your car, you crazy woman. You shut the off. Move. What a weird lady. Like, he was back here. He was back there, nowhere near. She gets out before he even gets close. You just ran into me. Just ran into me. Yeah, so people are saying insurance what scam, insurance fraud, about? probably. You crazy woman. Yep. Yep, as soon as he says, I got you on camera, it's like, we, we all know what's going on here. We all know what's going on. Always been a proponent of teaching by example. Same here. That's how I was taught as a young boy. Same here. I still feel it's the best form of teaching. It's one of the best. For yeah. It's definitely one of the best forms. Integrating the uh, things that you learn to become an example and to showcase oh, no. through being an example and mentor that way. It's a great way. So being able to help out here. Very good. Not everybody has to stop. They can keep pushing. Go ahead and keep pushing so I don't have to push as much. Yeah. So they look young. They have slippers on. They're going to be slipping and sliding when they're putting some... Yeah. So good job. That's why having good grip on your shoes are important. And you don't want anybody to get into an accident. So be careful yourself, though. You don't want to get hit. So keep an eye out. on Head on a swivel. Jump out of the way if you need to. Where are we going with this vehicle, though? Oh, we're just bump starting it. Okay. Very good. Here we go. I'm that moto guy that does this. Okay. Oh, accelerate and swerve out of the way. Watch out. Get back on the road because you don't know what's on that shoulder. Kind of put ourselves in that situation but handled it too. 
don't take it as an accomplishment that you can continue doing this. You're putting yourself in risky starts or risky positions. Yeah, that vehicle is probably a manual, so they were able to bump start it. it looked like an older vehicle. Ooh. Look both ways. Green doesn't mean go. Green means that you have the opportunity to go. Somebody might take that opportunity when they shouldn't be. So switching lanes in the intersection, that's not... I don't even think that's legal, but it's not recommended because people don't know what's going on. There's no stripes anymore. Mountain Drew. Whoa. Side of the vehicle. Oh, we have an accident. We have an accident. So since you just witnessed it, you can rescue. Whoa, holy cow. Holy. You can rescue. More than likely, the mechanism isn't going to be, uh, you know, bleeding and whatnot, but you can still stand there and help out. So a white van nearly went head on with an SUV before overcorrecting and hitting the back of an Audi sedan. The SUV takes evasive maneuvers to avoid being involved. The two vehicles involved in the collision were all people who knew each other. And luckily, no one was injured. I'm glad I wasn't in the SUV's position. Yeah, that would have sucked. That would have sucked. That would have sucked. So rescue, do your best if you want. Provide emotional support. Sometimes that's all it takes. You okay? Okay. Sometimes, like, you know, with an elderly person, um, their heart rate's going to go up. I mean, everything. Emergency situation, elder. But they might have, like, comor comorbidities, like maybe a bad heart or there's, you know, bad vessels and whatnot. So just the simple fact that you're talking them through it and it's lowering their blood pressure, it's lowering their heart rate, lowering their breathing, you might, you won't ever know, but you might actually prevent like a heart attack. So even having that emotional support and calm presence and leading the situation, saying everyone's okay, did a double check, did all these things, you're fine. That could, that could truly help. That could truly help. So do it if you want. So don't bring emergency feelings to an emergency situation. Don't yeah. add. Told at the end? Okay. That sucks. But with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, check out the store. 25% off just this weekend only for the, dr uh, the drill booklet and the cones. Okay? I'll see you guys on the next live stream. There it is. And I got to pee again. I drank like half a gallon before the stream, and that's not good. That's not good. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to be heading out because i got to edit these videos now. Uh, I had a lot of fun. We're about almost two hours into it. That's pretty much standard. So two good videos. Hope you guys ride safe this weekend. I'll see you guys next week. And um, have fun this weekend. Get the drill booklet and go practice. You get the digital version, phone-friendly version on it. 25% off. Go practice 25 this weekend only. Starting now. Ends on Sunday. Uh, we're not going to head in the office, Elad. I'm just going to go and take the elevator, and it, it goes, there's a tunnel. Uh, Elon and I were working together on the boring uh, project, and it's going to take me straight home to the other computer that I have. But with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.